what's up guys today we're doing an operator guide on how to play as finka finka is getting a massive buff soon she's gonna get grenades so she is going to be the ultimate entry in terms of being able to heal yourself as well as your team has a decent gun and you have frag grenades to clear utility and take down the enemy let's first let's go through her loadout so her lmg was massively nerfed and uh her, her spears not super amazing we're gonna go through these in the shooting range shortly after this but uh basically the lmg is a gun that you want to use if you're like trying to clear a room and you know that the defenders aren't really going to be on pixel angles because you're not going to be able to hit a pinpoint accurate shot on somebody the spear is tough to use it has a lot of first jump recoil but once you get control of the full auto it's actually pretty stable so you just have to get used to basically going full auto when you use this going down she's not going to have a gun six so pistol i would probably just choose the pmm pmm and of course use a suppressor because why not there's no reason not to and then of course you're gonna bring frag grenades of course you're bringing frag grenades now let's go to the shooting range to try out the guns so first we're gonna go through the lmg with a 1.5 scope and then we're gonna try it with a 1x so here's the lmg see it's definitely usable like you can definitely like get by using this on people that are going to be standing in cover but if you're finding someone on a pixel angle and you have the lmg you're going to be in some trouble because this is not a super laser beam it's not bad but you definitely have to pull and sometimes it'll horizontal off on you so try it with a 1x go hollow definitely a lot more manageable i definitely see a lot of people probably trying to run the lmg with a 1x it still has quite a bit of recoil now we're going to talk about the spear the spear i definitely suggest running a 1.5 scope on it so here the spear a lot more manageable in terms of the recoil it's like i said that first shot is going to jump quite a bit but once you start pulling it in full auto it's honestly pretty stable so most people are probably going to rely on the spear including myself it's going to be a little bit more reliable of a gun the only problem with it is in terms of just raw dps compared to other attacker ars it definitely lacks but w paired with Finka's ability to heal honestly it more than makes up for it all right so now let's talk about her ability the adrenal surge heals everyone not just yourself everyone on your team by 20 health no matter where they're at on the map and you can revive teammates if they're down so sometimes when i'm playing Finka i'll like if i see a teammate i'm not really doing too much i'm like on an angle i'll focus on my teammate if they get into a firefight and i see them taking damage i'll heal them mid firefight sometimes you're going to pick a teammate up if they get down instantly so i'll just like watch a teammate and then like i'll see them in a firefight i'll give them a quick little heal give them a little bit of a boost basically 20 extra health on even on a three speed operator basically it turns that operator into a three armor so the heals are super strong especially with pair with frag grenades finka becomes the ultimate entry because it, let's say your teammates win firefights on the entry let's say well, like you know we win a firefight i went from one health to 61 health and i can take another engagement fairly easily at 61 health so the heal by itself has never been finka's problem it's just that her gun paired with the lack of real utility definitely made her a little bit weaker of an operator but with the frag grenade change she instantly becomes i would argue probably the strongest attacker in rainbow six siege definitely going to see people playing a lot of finca because no one's ever had a problem with her heels and now she has grenades yeah her gun is a little bit mediocre compared to other guns but all of her kit more than makes up for it now let's go through a normal round of finca so i'm on organ open up the door i'm gonna leave a drone like so just to watch the flank as i run by always have your gun up watch out for spawn kills you never know what's going to happen we fire out if you're feel like you're in danger then i'll go here with frag grenades open up the window and it, let's say they're up in dorms i'll bounce a grenade off that light to get everything that's on the wall with a frag grenade so the wall will be good to go so the hard breach is going to be able to do whatever they need to and then i'll come back to this position show right here so i can't die to a run out i'll drone up up to armory clearing with my drone to see you know 
where the enemy's at and then i'll go there i'll leave another drone for the flank because you know there's no reason not to leave a drone for the flank i'm not gonna need another drone so i'm gonna be walking up with my gun up and if i feel like i'm about to get into a fight pop a heal right before and take the fight you will have a little bit of an overheal every time you use the ability which i'll show you again you can see i overheal so it has a maximum health of 110 but you can heal up to 130 so you get a little bit of an overheal so don't feel like you have to wait until someone's hurt if you feel like you're about to get into a fight or teammates get into a fight don't be afraid to pop a heal you're better off using the heals early and helping your team with the heals rather than saving them and then potentially dying with the heals plus as finca you don't have any amazing utility that your team needs for the late round you have grenades you're looking for the picks you're looking for to destroy utility which we'll go over some grenade throws shortly but uh you're looking for just destroy utility kill some enemies and uh just take fights i mean you're the combat medic find your fights and try to win them okay now we're gonna go through a couple rounds of me playing as finca granted i don't have the grenades so i'll tell you guys exactly how i use the grenades we will go through some grenade clips after these though so here, I open up the door. I know they're probably in CC. Drone out. Checking there's no trap. I see one near the door going for a run out. We hold the angle. So this is one thing I want to talk about really quick. Go back to that really quick. So I've been asked this a lot. When people go for that first peek, if they're crouched and they go back behind cover, or if they're standing and they go back behind cover 90 i would say 95 99 percent of the time they're going to come out on the different angle so if they were standing they're going to going to crouch if they're crouched they're going to stand sometimes they may just swing out all the way but you just have to take the gamble if, if they go back behind cover chances are they're probably not going to swing out so here i adjust my crosshair to aim for a crouch headshot and then see how I also adjusted because I knew that he'd come back and pre-fire me standing. So instead of crouching, I stood up. So he shot, tried to shoot me in the body and I took him out. And as I take out his teammate, I jump in aggressively. We try to fight the frost. I get a reload, checking the angle that someone might be at before I swing in. I see one holding the angle and we take him out as well here on the same angle next round exact same situation i drone out gotta gather some intel first this time i do see a trap and i see someone holding an angle towards the door but they're not holding the angle on the window as long as i shoot the frostman and i jump in i will catch this guy off guard one starts to run in so we watch the guy running in and we take the fight we take him out crosshair placement always key Get the shot, jump in. I get a reload. I see that the guy moved. He runs to metal and he's not really paying attention to anything I'm doing. We get another clean kill. So this is a little bit more of a chaotic round here. So I join out. I see someone that might not be paying attention. So I run in, I hit a legion mine. I don't over commit to the guy that I just saw. Instead, I push in to workshop to find the next guy. I join this in too. Which I find him, he's behind cover i pull my legion mine out and you can see my health at the top right here that i'm pretty hurt but finka negates that issue entirely so now i'm almost full health again looking for that firefight take a little bit of damage but my health's still looking pretty good just like that one thing i love about finka is her ability to just take fights and just keep everybody in the fight including yourself so i, I just kind of hold my ground I pop the heal when it comes back. Jackal's a little bit hurt. We heal the Jackal up all the way. And uh, we went out. All right, now let's go through some grenade throws that you guys can do in Rainbow Six Siege. I will have a grenade guide coming up in the next few days on how to throw grenades at ceilings and the timing and how to do it. But now let's talk about some of the grenades you can throw. So uh, most of these grenades are as Ayana or Sledge because you know, that's all the clips. Cause you know, those are the ops that have grenades currently as I make this video, but uh, Finka will be able to do this as well. So boom, we find that angle because we see him about to go for a run out. 
We risk a grenade at the start. Boom. Take him down. And again, coastline now. Guy's about to run out aqua. Ryan to the grenade. Not an angle I can even see, but uh, we get the kill. So here's another way that I like to use grenades. I like to throw grenades in to mask my audio. When I throw a grenade into a door or a hallway, it'll mask the audio of your vault. And so an enemy might not hear you actually jump inside. So here I do a little bit of a different spin to it and I thread the needle. You don't need to do that as long as you throw the grenade in the hallway. Let's say I bounce the grenade here and it bounces over here. That means I can just jump in and I can check that angle because I know that no one's going to be here. So a lot of times I will use grenades just to clear an angle that I'm not going to be able to have time to clear with my gun. But we do hit the grenade on that pinpoint and we take them down. So here again, clearing an angle I can't really fight effectively. We get a grenade. And again, I know someone's close to the staircase. I see that shadow lurking up. This is why you should always have shadow details on medium. And we get the grenade kill. Grenade over the top for the attic. And kaboom. So here, this is how you're going to be using grenades most of the time. Grenade from underneath. So I know someone's on the half wall. We get the kill. I rotate into dining now. Because I know one's playing behind the master bed. And... We find another one. Grenades are so versatile. Like I never even took a gunfight this round. I already killed two of them on Chalet. So using grenades effectively, even with Finca's slightly weaker AR compared to other attacker ARs, it's not going to matter. Your heals more than make up for it. And Finca's AR is still better than Defender SMGs. So you can more than win out. That's it on today on how to play as Finca. Finca is honestly probably the strongest operator in the game now with this change i i can't think of another operator that even comes close other than maybe with, with the gridlock change but uh finca is going to be an incredible entry i definitely see a lot of people that used to main ayana or sledge let's say picking finca and gridlock so finca is definitely going to be a go-to tool for you to use especially with its current tdm meta everyone running around just shooting being able to heal each teammate by 60 health that's so much healing and uh you have frag grenades. People don't understand how useful frag grenades are. It's a Swiss army knife just to deal with defenders and whatever they throw at you, whatever they bring, grenades can pull you out. So Finca, the only downside is the gun is a little, takes a little bit of getting used to, but after some practice and after some time, honestly, it's not too bad. So yeah, guys, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like down below for more. And uh, let me know what, what operator you guys want to see next time. Peace out.